Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Evil Twins, I always felt closer to IPAs than I did to people, is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So we are going to drink this Evil Twin beer. I'm not going to read off the name again. I don't know they, why they would give a name uh, to something like this. Um, on the can it does say it's 7.5%. Um, on untapped it has 9% and 90 IBU. Um, batch is 001. Um, then it has 07.01, which I'm guessing is the time. So batch number one. I'm not sure when <coughs> this one came out. Let's go ahead and get it into a glass. Kind of pour it on the side. Usually these IPAs have a humongous head. And who wants to sit here for 10 minutes and listen to me talk? We're going to get the big head anyway. Um... So uh, this is a double dry hopped with tons of Galaxy Citra Simcoe Falconer's Flight. Like I said, a double IPA. So if we look at the head, it is a white, all small bubbles. Looking at the side, it is like dish soap. The bubbles are compacted together. From the pour, uh, three fingers of head right now. If we look at the color, it is kind of clear, I would say, a straw yellow color. I do have particles, uh, yeast, and other troop floating in there. Some bubbles coming up, I can see the light through it. Let's go ahead and get a smell. Like dank, pine, uh, some citrus, some fruitiness. Uh, I would say that dank pine uh, almost smells exactly like if you opened up a bag of Citra or Galaxy and smelled the actual hot pellets. That's what it's smelling like to me. No malt, but yeah, that pine, then the citrus, then a little bit of fruit comes through. Let's go ahead and get a drink. A, a good pine taste, it, it, it's kind of weird, like it's a, it's not a sweet pine, but it's like a kind of a sweet dank pine, I guess I would go with. That's what I get first, mixed with some citrus, some lemon, maybe some orange peel into the back, you get like that orange juice, pineapple kind of thing. Bitterness to me is almost nothing. You do get some um, IBUs from the dry hop, but not hardly anything. It's mostly for that taste, that aroma. So um, 60 IBUs, I'm guessing the double dry hop is what's bringing up those IBUs. So you're not going to get that big bitter uh, taste like you normally would. Very smooth in there, but yeah, that sweet, dank pine is what I'm picking up the most than uh, some citrus and some uh, fruitiness. Not very much, but there is a little bit there. Then it's pretty much gone as it goes down. I'm not getting any alcohol. I would tend to believe the 7.5 than I would the 9 that's on untapped. Um, Pretty good beer. I could see buying this again and really drinking it. It is a good beer. I'd probably go with a 4.25 out of 5 on this one. I would like to see, because of the Citra, the Galaxy, I want some more fruitiness in this. Um, I'm not sure if the Falconer's Flight is what's giving you that pine. Um, I'm sure it's not the Citra. But yeah, it's like a sweet, dank pine. Obviously, I'm guessing the malt, uh, with all the malts they uh, used and didn't let the yeast ferment completely out is giving you some of that sweetness back or the temperature they mashed it at. So if we look at untapped, um, almost 5,000 ratings average is 4.13. Um, 
Three of my friends have rated this for an average of 4.33. So I'm a little bit under them, but I'm a little bit over the world or whoever has had this. So definitely one I think you should pick up and try, especially if you're just getting into double IPAs and don't like that malt bomb or that big, big piney uh, burst that you usually get in the back. This is definitely a good one. Uh, I think you'll be surprised with the kind of taste. I don't think I've had that dank pine sweetness before in a beer. But, yeah, almost like a candy now. Um, but, yeah, very good beer. So that'll wrap up this beer review. Until next time, happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share. And hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.